Kilda. Good morning. Um, I've got a little gem to show you today up in Opoho, Waipo, um, 48 Evans Street. Five bedrooms, two bathrooms, internal garage, um, partially double glazed and partially insulated wall, ceiling and floor. So it's a, a great family home um, and let me show you through. Alright, I'm kicking off on the deck. So I've walked up a little bit further, give you a little bit of a view. And you know, we've got the gardens area, a bit of northeast valley, and uh, through Mile Hill in the back there, all the way through across to Māori Hill, and even a bit of Wakari in the background. So here yeah, the house, like I say, is five bedroom, two bathroom, has a deck with great views, and three entry points into the house. We're going through the sliding doors that come onto the deck, straight into the lounge, with a nice mass port fire, as well as a decent sized heat pump, a good sized living area, and then up an open dining area I guess but it can be closed so it can be um, separated if you choose let's have a wee look with these beautiful wood doors the home comes with some furnishings um, not exactly chattels but things if you do want them you can use them um, another nice view of the neighbours um, houses around Opaho from the dining room and then into modern kitchen snug but still in really nice condition exit to the backyard and then a little laundry cupboard there which is very nicely designed now we're going to pop through into the hallway and so this is the main entry and I'm going to walk out there and give us a little bit of a look at the garden excuse the length of the lawns um, and the gardens we've got someone coming in to do them this week but so the, the front door is like this and we come in and we can see the lounge where we've been and then straight away we have one a small bedroom here nice curtains and a second large bedroom here each of the bedrooms have their own internal wardrobe um, this one has some nice views as well and then we walk down the hall and we come to the first bathroom which is in modern condition looking nice check out some of the photos for details and beside that is another small bedroom. Um, that's uh, bedroom number three. Then we head off to the left and we go upstairs. And upstairs we have, I guess you'd call the main, the master bedroom. Oh, little very. Once again, there is some furnishings that potentially you can uh, utilize if you wish and then we have superb views from the master bedroom and uh, view of the glass house and the garden shed upstairs to the second bathroom shower and toilet and into the fifth bedroom another relatively well it's a double bedroom but you know considering the size that some of these bedrooms are this is one of the more modest ones once again though a nice little view onto your private backyard and a um, wardrobe 
Now we've moved back to the back door, looking over the private courtyard you have with the washing line and some nice plants and trees, keeping it nice and private. And we'll walk around to the left of the home. And over here we can see more privacy, a glass house, a garden shed, and then over here is a, a private, another little courtyard I guess, a little area to relax and, and on a day like this, this is a beautiful spot. So out to the rear courtyard again, and this time we can go down the other side of the house where we have a private little path and into a little storage space that was probably, well, is a laundry, but obviously the laundry appliances have been moved into the kitchen area. But there's no reason why you couldn't use it down here as well. Some space, a little bit of a underfloor area where you can see the moisture barrier and the insulation. If we head back down and out the front door, we can peek through the window into the glass, into the garage. So a single garage. Brings us to the end of the tour.